on this episode. We get more Byron Bay than a hippie that doesn't shower, give a decent tour of the motorhome, and what do we think of the famous Bundy Rum factory? It was a bit of nurse. Ava did what she does best and decided to wake us up at 5am, so we decided to catch the sunrise in Suffolk. Oh, that was awesome. It was so pretty. We're enjoying the sunrises very much. We have to. We have no other choice because of... When Ava got back in onto the bed, there was a kookaburra there saying hello and she got really excited. We went to the farm for breakfast, which I highly recommend if you're ever in Byron Bay. So we just ate at the farm, which is what? Like... A cave away from Byron Bay town. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. But yeah, the food's all fresh, like all the ingredients, they just literally grow behind us. Coffee was great. I had um, macadamia nut milk. Very Byron. Very Byron Bay. With your Byron hat. With my Byron hat. <laughs> there was rodents all around our feet as we were trying to eat. Rodents? <laughs> there was bin chickens. Aerial rodents. Turkeys. She's very tired. We're about to hop back in the car and drive to Bris Bris Vegas. So I don't know if this is like a professional tip, but always trying to time our drives with Ava's naps. So she's just woken up. And instead of going to like some of the big places like Gold Coast or Brisbane, try and find something that's just a little bit off the grid and so you can find a park. Like we just found a park for the Apollo camper van over there. She's uh, maybe gonna go on a slide and a swing. We'll get something to eat from this little seafood place just over there. It doesn't smell as exciting as it, as it looks. It does stink. <laughs> then we'll just keep making our way up north. Uh, so we just did Byron to Brisbane. In Brisbane we stopped off to see Max's friend Taz from primary school. So hi Taz. Hi Taz. <laughs> <laughs> also gave Taz a tour of the Apollo bus, which was, which I think she liked. So come in. You drive here, which is awesome. You drive here. This is, you can have, sleep two people up there, but we've just got storage in here. Uh, Heaps of storage. So much storage. All so so storage you want. Activities. So Leo will sit here, I'll sit here, AJ here. You can take this off and then pull this out and then you sleep another two people here. Sink, then all your drawers and stuff. Hot water, we've been cooking on this. As you can see, it's a bit gross. Um, the thingy, it's literally got all our pantry, like everything <laughs> we wanna eat. Microwave, uh oh, pizza, evidence. That's a pretty decent sized fridge. Massive. You even had a little oven. Little oven, so isn't it? TV. Um, and then you so you like literally just unscrew that and yeah. then that's the the TV oh, antenna. antenna goes up. Yeah. And you go like water pump, you turn the water pump on and then turn water heater on and you wait like 20 minutes and then you can have hot showers. Oh, okay. Like right now, we're not yeah, even plugged yeah. in. We're in a car park at a burger shop. And then this is where we sleep with a AJ here. Bed. Yeah, it's great. And then all our clothes and stuff are just on these ones at the back. So yeah, it feels and we're still like we haven't been able to fill up all the room. And then once you're plugged in, you can get air con. Oh, well that's fancier than my house. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, this is the dunny and shower and stuff. Is it awkward with the... The angle? Yeah. No, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too, From it's like... Well, it's female, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's From a female, yeah. From a female, yeah. For me, I'm standing here, but you know, you can do number twos, but then you've got to empty number twos. So yeah. number two at your own risk is, yeah, yeah. is almost what, what so me and Leah are doing. Save that for the public toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait till you get to campsites and then you, and then you go to the normal toilet. But it's pretty, um, it's pretty bloody awesome. It's practical. Practical. I think that's the best word I can use for it. So when we Plus like fancy. So we ended up crashing in the sunny coast for the night after seeing some friends and race their kids with a motorhome. Mm -hmm. Motorhome one. Next morning we did a uh, little whale watching tour. Uh, I think it was a whale watching tour. It could have just been a uh, a large boat going out of the bay and back into the bay because yeah. humpback we whales weren't out to play today. I was happy to get off the boat and we needed to get off the boat because Ava got sick. Ava got seasick. I think Max went down to get food and as soon as he left, she injectiled spewed all over me about five times and then I was surrounded by about three mums all wiping me down with baby wipes. We then got back in the car and went to the Australia Zoo. We saw two Tasmanian devils <laughs> fight. One was scared, it was so scared it itself. <laughs> oh, he 
himself. Ava got to pat a really cute koala. You are doing so well, you are so cute. One of the tigers there uh, lost its eyes due to some disease, but they put in some... Um, Prosthetic glass eyes. Yeah. yeah. It's like something you'd see in Lion King, like, you know. In Lion King? They had their eyes. No, but like something you'd see in like an animated movie. <laughs> All right. Where it was the evil character with the glass eyes. Oh, scar. Or like, scar, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I was about to say. <laughs> For anyone that goes to the Australia Zoo uh, quickly works out that it's all about this midday show. They keep telling you, you got to get there for it, you got to get there for it. And it's the one where you see the famous photos of Steve Irwin um, throwing some meat to a crocodile. It was an amazing show, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in the Crocatorium, so... Clever. So we've woken up at Inga Holiday Park, Noosa Heads. Um, we haven't even been outside yet, we got in late, but we're going to go to the Amundi Market. So we just did the Amundi Market, open every like Wednesday and Saturday, and... They, they were awesome. Pretty bloody cool. It's what I sort of imagined, I guess. We, we didn't have time to stop through Nimbum, but a bit like hippie selling, selling like hemp products, fisherman pants. Lots of hippie stuff. And, you know, you can get crystal readings and... You know that Max got a massage? Max just left us to go get a massage and I was shopping as I do very well and we've just been trying to find him and I think this is a bit of a dead giveaway. That's the fan band. <laughs> I would highly recommend getting a massage every now and again if you're gonna be driving these motorhomes because you literally just go three or four hours of driving and just sitting up into holding a baby uh, picking her up, putting her down, setting everything up, and then driving again, so... And you're on holiday. Spoil yourself. Spoil yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. And then ate some moo moo things. Momos. Momos. Uh, and me and Ava had a Japanese pancake, which is my favourite. Now back to the beast, and then beach time, I think. Beach time! <laughs> We're having a well-deserved chill out on the beach. We've been driving so much. And seeing so much today, it's just chill. We have the fair skin tent over here. This is the first time I've ever used one of these, and now I can stay on the beach for longer than five minutes. Talk about luxury. Thank you. Laying at the beach in the shade suits me. Just at Noosa Heads. Is it Noosa Heads or just Noosa? Tanawan in Noosa. There we go. Um, and Ava loves this thing. These signature big four pillows are... Um, I remember seeing them, but I've never really been in one, but they're awesome. And you can see why kids absolutely love them. Bye. See you later. Don't know if any other parents just experience this <laughs> every single night, but this one's a good one. You'd be grot. And then shot, not cleaning it. Can we just set it free? Oh, I got a hose out the back. We're having breakfast at Noosa. And this is Big Four. <laughs> she said hi. <laughs> and she's a message as well. But look, we've got. Rosellas. Rosellas. Oh. Oh. When you're driving through each town, um, we used to look for, like, I don't know the pub or yeah. something that, <laughs> that was what we keep our eye out for now we noticed um, and we look out for parks because every town has a park like a public park just before you get into town middle of town or at the end of town and um, it's perfect just to pull over and go all right just throw into the onto the slide burn throw. that energy girl so getting to Bundaberg of course you do the Bundaberg rum tour um, we couldn't take you you can't take your cameras in because like if anything with a battery could blow the whole place up or they don't want you to see how boring it is. To be honest, I think it was because we're not rum drinkers, yeah. but we did try some of it and some of it was pretty good to be honest. It's a bit nice. If you ever wanted to encapsulate Queensland in one product, it's this. Iced coffee Bundaberg rum flavor. Gold. Next time on Don't Travel With A Baby. Halloween celebrations. <laughs> I have a ridiculous story about my drone for you. And we visit Daydream Island, where Leah used to work. Spoiler, she got fired. <laughs>